Pigeon Toe, Wikipedia article audio. Pigeon Toe, also known as in towing, is a condition which causes the toes to point inward when walking. It is most common in infants and children under two years of age and, when not the result of simple muscle weakness, normally arises from underlying conditions, such as a twisted shin bone or an excessive antiversion resulting in the twisting of the thigh bone when the front part of a person's foot is turned in. Causes Severe cases are considered a form of club foot. The cause of intoing can be differentiated based on the location of the disalignment. The variants are Metatarsus adductus The most common form of being pigeon-toed, when the feet bend inward from the middle part of the foot to the toes. Tibial torsion The tibia or lower leg slightly or severely twists inward when walking or standing. Femoral antiversion The femur or thigh bone turns inward when walking. Diagnosis Pigeon toe can be diagnosed by physical examination alone. This can classify the deformity into flexible, when the foot can be straightened by hand, or otherwise non-flexible. Still, X-rays are often done in the case of non-flexible pigeon toe. On X-ray, the severity of the condition can be measured with a metatarsus adductus angle, which is the angle between the directions of the metatarsal bones as compared to the lesser tarsus. Many variants of this measurement exist, but Scarlatto's angle has been found to at least have favorable correlation with other measurements. Scarlatto's angle is defined as the angle between Treatment This angle is normally up to 15 degrees, and an increased angle indicates pigeon toe. Yet, it becomes more difficult to infer the locations of the joints in younger children due to incomplete ossification of the bones, especially when younger than 3 to 4 years. In those less than 8 years old with simple intoing and minor symptoms, no specific treatment is needed. Curved foot, twisted shin, twisted thigh bone. A line through the longitudinal axis of the second metatarsal bone, the longitudinal axis of the lesser tarsal bones. For this purpose, one line is drawn between the lateral limits of the fourth tarsometatarsal joint and the calcaneocuboid joint, and another line is drawn between the medial limits of the talonavicular joint and the first tarsometatarsal joint. The transverse axis is defined as going through the middle of those lines, and hence the longitudinal axis is perpendicular to this axis. UK information from Oxford Hospital's NHS Trust, Metatarsus Adductus on Posna The Pediatric Orthopedic Society of North America